So we want to make a podcast or an audio lecture. So we need to go and download Voice Record Pro, which is an app available for Apple and Android users. Voice Record Pro, it's a free app. Um, you'll pull it up there, Voice Record Pro. You'll notice that there's a full paid for version as well, but don't do that. This Voice Record Pro is a very helpful, strong, and capable app to do what we need. So go ahead and download it and then open it up. First thing we do when we download it is we need to configure the settings. So go to the upper right hand little wheel up there, click on the settings, and then again click on the settings button. And we want to create an MP3. So we need to go down to recording and make sure that where it says basic engine format, we slide that over so that it says MP3. Now all of our recordings will be in MP3 format, which is going to be helpful for e-learning. You slide down and you can see there's all sorts of other controls in here. You can do all sorts of sound editing right here in this app. Like I said, it's a really powerful tool. When you're ready to record, go ahead and hit the record button in the bottom left, the little red one. It'll pull up this window and then you're live and you're recording. And you'll see that you have an equalizer at the top. That's a really powerful tool. Make sure that your voice is hitting at the right levels. Um, you want it to be just about at the zero, somewhere between the three to the zero or the five to the zero, but really no much no lower than that five so really project your voice make sure you're hitting uh, the levels that we need and then when you're done hit the stop button in the middle and it automatically creates your file you see that it's an mp3 right at the top you have all these options of what you can do with this file where you want to send it uh, if you want to make some edits to it change the title change the file name let's go ahead and change the file name and the title um, so let's put in something like lecture one and say today's date and then we can also change the file name with that little button there too uh, let's put in the date and then the little button there also change the file name we want to um, do this to create really nice organization for our students when they come in and are looking for this uh, there's all sorts of editing effects you can trim down your recording so you want to make it a little bit shorter and more precise you have those tools on the left and right to just get to right where you want to be in your recording um, and there's lots of ways to share this but let's go ahead and share this by email you can choose audio and then it'll send this as an email attachment file to yourself um, go ahead and put in your email address and then you can see there that it is an mp3 file so I'm gonna go ahead and send this to myself and the next time I open up my email there's the file waiting for me so that I can upload it into eLearning. Back to the home page of the app, you can see the file still there. So really powerful tool, lots of fun things you can do with this. Play around, have fun, and let me know if you have any questions.